Concerned citizens are seeking answers on the fiscal stability of St. Lucia and attempts to cushion the economic fallout from the Great Lockdown. Some observers have identified the sinking fund and lockboxes as possible solutions to St. Lucia's economic woes amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Partner at Grant Thornton, Richard Peterkin, sought to provide insight into the policy options on the lunchroom program with Calix George Jr. on Thursday. Don't you think it's a little scary, though, that we, we, we're speaking about such a large project and we've never seen a feasibility study on it? I have myself, but um, that does not necessarily mean there isn't one. And I know you're trying to push me into this, Calix. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, no it's, a, it's a real question. <laughs> it's a real question. But, but all I'm saying is it, it is a risk. It is a risk. The government is, this government is up for election in 2021. And, and if, in fact, they, you know, they make a call in respect of projects that, that they could have easily postponed and use that money for more important things, they'll pay a price for it. Peter Kin notes that capital projects are still a viable option to promote economic growth. However, he says the important factor remains choosing projects which create overall stability for the island. He preferred the idea of reallocating funds. There is, as the Prime Minister said, $25 million in cash, in banks, um, from the uh, contingency fund. Money is being put aside to pay debt. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be used. Um, as far as other lockboxes, he did mention a figure for the human oil lockbox. He didn't say anything about the, um, the gas tax. Right? Well, I, I, don't, I don't right. think it actually exists, but I, I just put it out there but because it's been stated quite a number of times that we had a gas tax lockbox. But I don't yeah, think we have, honest, have one. To get, to get a lockbox, actually have to have legislation legislation exactly and it's never been brought forward that wasn't brought forward so there we go Peter Kin notes that the Prime Minister's social stabilization plan is merely a temporary rescue package and the discussions have been held with financial experts on finding possible solutions my figure is that if you go if you don't get a 10 percent of your GDP which is about 500 million dollars mm-hmm. um, that's probably the level of, of an economic stimulus that you need to be looking at Right, precisely. But, but for government to get that is another story because I think the IMF, uh, in addition to the exogenous shock, uh, I believe they can negotiate. Uh, he used a figure of about 194 million dollars, um, and there may be other, um, you know, other sources that we can we can get some funding. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think it would be very tough to get a, a figure as high as that. Um, but what so what that program will be, we don't know yet. The financial advisor admits that the outlook for St. Lucia's economy is grim. They got they got some unique problems. I mean, the government exists um, uh, with a lot of debt at any given point in time. Sixty uh, seventy something percent, I think it is, or is it, no sixty five point something, uh, and that includes a lot of debt um, from bonds and treasury bills and so on that are borrowed in the regional government securities market. This year, seven hundred million dollars worth of that debt was maturing. So in addition to having to borrow new money now for the different things that they had to do to stimulate the economy, they have to pay back $700 million. So the Prime Minister indicated that based on discussions with creditors... But most times that, that gets rolled over. A lot of the, those... Yeah, but yeah. that's the problem. It gets yeah. rolled over when people are confident about the future. Um, but this time, they have already gone back to, to all of these debtors, creditors, And most of them are saying, you know what, I I think I need to cash in. I think I need my money. Despite the challenges, Peterkin touted the resilience of the island in overcoming economic difficulties and says attention should be placed on sacrifice and survival. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.